Hello, today we got a game called Made for Trade. A game of early American life. Found it at the thrift store. And uh, it's a game with aptitude by Aristoplay. www.aristoplay.com. I'll leave the link in the description to aristotrade.com. Okay, it was. At a yard sale for three dollars, it looks like, and didn't sell at the yard sale. And a Goodwill price sticker was three ninety nine. So hmm, should have bought it at that yard sale. You got it for three. <laughs> you ever notice that when you go to like Goodwill, that um sometimes the price they all have a yard sale price, and then for, and they, you know that Goodwill got it free. They, they, the person didn't sell it to your sale. They donated it to Goodwill, and they gave it to Good. And then Goodwill puts a price that's higher than the yard sale price. Come on, Goodwill should put a price that's lower than the yard sale price on the grounds that they didn't pay nothing for it. It was free. Come on now, am I right, y'all? Am I right? Am I'm right, right. Not higher, lower. <laughs> oh, anyway, made for trade. A game for early American life. It's a two to six player game. Kind of, this is the board's going to kind of look like. Aristopraya believes there is more to history than names, dates, and events. Individual lifestyles and daily hardships are important to know about, too. Made for trade offers a fun way to personalize history by putting children in the shores, shoes, in his shoe, shores, shoes of colonists. Players get to experience a time and place that's all American. Make America great again. Make America colonial again. The beginning of our country's very existence, and yet surprisingly different from the lives we have today. The game also offers a first-hand try at living in a bar barter community. Unlike today, money is scarce, and so players must trade homemade goods for necessities. Unlike today, money is scarce. Money is still scarce. What the heck are they talking about? Maybe we should go back to the barter systems. Whether you are Christian Farhill, Elizabeth Oglethorpe, or any of the other colonists, you get the chance to journey through the colonial town on the game board and live the early American life. Perhaps you're an indentured servant trying to buy your freedom or the customs official who can collect taxes. You can visit shops, trade on market day, or catch the latest news at the tavern. They had to use the word indentured servant because slavery is not PC. Made for Trade includes four different games to play. First, you have Shillings, a simple card game that plays like Spoons. Players collect cards of objects that belong in the same shop. Ages 8 and up. Then you got tourists. Get a glimpse of colonial life as you make your way around an early American town. Trying to be the first player in there to collect four objects, four shillings. Ages 8 and up. Traitor! And not the kind that betrays people, the kind that actually trades. Start the game as an indentured servant and buy or trade your freedom for wealth. Ages 10 and up. Shopper! Make your own inventory list of objects to buy and trade at the stores. The first townsperson to collect all the objects wins. Ages 12 and up. What's inside? We got game board. 60 shillings! Because that's the colonial times we were still owned by Britain and they used shillings. Two dice, 48 object cards. Eight character playing pieces, eight inventory shopping lists, 30 store event cards, one deck, easy, event, 30 more event card, two deck, more difficult instructions, information booklet. Including instructions for four games in detailed description and uses objects found in the game. Delightful lesson in history and economics, endorsed by the Commission for the Bicentennial of the U.S. Constitution, recommended by Parents Magazine, Media, and Methods Excellence in Education War. It's a 2004 game. So here's the, the all that information. Here's a number you can call and a website you can you know do. Do 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 made for trade. Check out the board because it's made for trade. 
I traded money for this game. At the thrift store. Thrifting for board games is what I do. Looks like the vent cards go here. Oh, gosh. The Tin Smith goes here. Glass shops here. Got the potter shop here. Got the general stove here. And this is, I guess, where you start. Well, no. Got the silversmith here and the cabinet maker here. Gosh. And you got the music shop and the blacksmith. Well, here's where you start. Start immigration, customs, privateering. So, you start here. And you go around the bow board, and it's basically a yeah. Cool. Okay. You draw event cards when you got an event. You can enter the different shops. There's a cabinet maker shop when you land on this. You got the market. That's where you can go to the market and trade. Uh, event. You draw the event cards, of course. The exit. So the whole the. If you enter the cabinet maker, you exit here, so you skip all that. Um, then you got the tavern here. You lose the turn because you're getting drunk in the tavern. Um, got the silversmith. So you enter. If you go into any of these, you enter it and you go that way. Exit. Harvest. So collecting shillings. Here's the blacksmith. You got the auction house where you can auction one object. Which is this. Uh, here's uh, the music shop. Muse event. Then it's got the meeting house, which was also the church back in the day. Um, Pay tab of one coin. Let's see, it says pay tab. Hint, marketing, exit. Oh, here's the music. So you enter here, come out here. So you get to totally avoid this and this when you go into the music shop. Okay. Um, but you might go back seven, which makes you go back to church uh, slash meeting house. They can't call it church because it's politically incorrect. And then you go to the to tinsmith. And then you got the printer here. So you work a, you get paid, payday. You got the hat hatter. You can go to the hat shop. And then you got the glass shop. Then you got the red line in, so a different end, and this time you you get to take another turn, but you gotta pay two coins. So, uh, then you can enter the uh, potter shop. Here's the potter shop. Exit there. Now if you, uh, you can go to school. If you own property, uh, which I guess there's a way to own property. Um, you, uh, if you own property, you gotta pay a coin. Um, then you got the general store. If you land here, you get to barge a trip to Payday, which is all the way over here. So you'll go up the river. You got to pay one shilling to go to Payday to collect three shillings. Then you got to go back around and board again. Um, Then I uh, guess you go back around the board, maybe, and repeat everything again. If you're playing a longer game and haven't gotten everything yet. Um, here's the various different colonial characters we got here. So, uh, got this soldier looking dude, got this little, another soldier looking dude, got... 
some female looking people and a pilgrim looking guy and maybe a parson looking dude here. Uh, here's the rules. See, look, the eggs haven't even been opened yet. These chips, chits, are the shillings and these are the people holders and you can get dice here. And here's some of the made for trade items. There's a vent deck one and a vent deck two. So play an easy game, you use that one. Play a harder game, you use those. And uh, then here's the each uh, item that for one of the game, each item, depending on who you are, these are what you gotta get at Christian Fairhill, Hannah Goodman, Ebenezer Brown. Makes Peace Middleton, Eliza Oglethorpe, Prudence Peterson, Horace Vanderveld, and Virginia Willoughby. So those are our characters. Uh, look, which of these folks? Let's look over this rule here. You're about to enter a very different world. The eggs served for breakfast were laid just hours ago. Your everyday clothes were wool and linen and sewn by hand. Every room in your house has a fireplace. The only source of heat in winter. At sunset, the room goes dark except for the very dim light of candles, grease lamps, and pitch pine. There is no such thing as standard time. The town next door may be 20 minutes ahead of or behind your town. People travel by horse or by walking. Streets are paved with brick or stone, if at all. Welcome to Early America and Made for Trade, the game that transports you back to a typical American village in colonial times. You will make your way from store to store, camping, shop, camping, shopping for goods, paying taxes, and earning shillings on payday. As money is scarce, you and your fellow colonists will have to barter or trade for goods in each other at the outdoor market and at the shops. If you can't pay your debts, you may even end up in the goal, goal or jail. In this booklet, you'll find rules for a simple card game called Shillings, played like spoons, and for the made for trade board game, which has three levels of play. The manual also describes 48 common objects of the period and provides information about lifestyles back then. Now, as you begin your journey back to early America, think of the time when the country was young and in those continent stretched to the west. And things were not at all as they are today. You wish you luck, prosperity, and and this brave new land. So here's Shillings, fast-paced card game played like spoons. The object. Focus. Focus. Sorry, my phone is setting up the game rules. Focus. Anyway, then we got made for trade. For some reason, my camera's not focusing. Okay, there. It was dirty. Okay, I fixed it. Uh, we got shillings. Object players, game materials, setting up the game, rules for playing. Then we got made for trading, the game of early American life. Levels of play, we got tourist, trader, and shopper. Game one, tourist, object players, game materials, setting up, rules for playing. Exit spaces, blue market spaces, payday and harvest spaces, cuts of spaces, other sites, tavern, auction house, goal, meeting house, red line in, school, barge, pri privateering, passing a turn, w nope. winner. Game two, trader, object, players, game materials, setting up, rules for play, take a turn, become a free citizen, enter spaces, purchase an object, make a trade. PC event spaces market payday harvest customs other sites passing the turn. See game one six to win. Game three shopper object players game materials setting up rules for playing. The blacks uh, blacksmith. Uh, here's some uh, here's various different objects that they had in different places like. You had the 
raw iron toaster. You had the iron spatter. You had the fire back. You had the sheet iron weather vane. You had the iron and brass candlestick stands. You had the iron goose Audrians. Now in the music shop, here's some stuff that that uh, the various items that they had in the music shop. You had the pitch pipe. You had the flogo nut. You had the du dulcimer. You had the harp. You had the mahogany barrel organ and the mahogany piano. The cabinet maker, we got corner chair, fire screen. Mahogany bedstand, mahogany tall clock case, walnut shrink. It's like a ward oh, the wardrobe. And the walnut high chest. The potter shop we got the earthen well towels, earthen well tea caddy, entreware pitcher, tin glazed earthware pot Posit pot, earthenware plates, and the Turin and stand uh, uh, basically it's for holding soup. Silversmith, where you got silver buttons, silver snuff box. A couple of people did snuff, and it's where you put your. Uh, or your chewing tobacco, or your uh, snub, or in my, you maybe just held other stuff. Silver tablespoons, silver porringer. Silver tankard, and a silver coffee pot. So one, one's for holding your drink, and the other one's for making coffee or tea or whatever. You got tin smiths. Heart shaped tin nutmeg grater. You got tin coffee pots, a uh, tin scone to tin candle molds, um, wooden tin foot warmer, and a tin lantern. At the general store, here's some stuff they sold at general stores. You got the butter mold, you got the hourglass. You got scales, still in brass balances, scales. You got leather shoes. So your feet won't get all dirty and hurt. You got three cornered hat, because they that's what they wore back in the olden days. Cotton curtains. The glass shop we got stuff like marbles, because that's what people played back in the day along with chess got salt cellar hurricane shade wine glasses decanter and currants currants for cotton glass condiment bottles and a decanter was like Other term. The May for Trade board depicts an early American town that might have been, though not patterned after a particular city, includes buildings commonly found in early urban America. Our town is on the seacoast. While there were also trading centers inland, they were generally established on rivers because communication was chiefly by water. Around the edge of the town are livestock and farms. Most townspeople keep gardens, cows, and poultry. Few middlemen stand between the farm and the goods available at the general store, which retails just about anything and extends credit to farmers in hopes of collecting come harvest time. When travelers come through town, they can stay at the Red Line Inn, where meals are family-style and rooms are not always private. The spire of the meeting house makes it the tallest structure in town a reminder that this is a society of fears and worships god the tavern is a clearing house for news and place to relax goal or jail is near the tavern not inappropriately the stocks are a punishment designed to shame offenders into proper conduct 
Between the tavern and the goal is the Muse, a narrow back alley usually found in less fashionable parts of town. Every town has a blacksmith who makes horseshoes, nails, farm tools, and other items. Our blacksmith has his forges up to his home. Trade shops blend businesses and residential neighborhoods into one, for prior proprietors often live upstairs or at the back. That's why the stores all look more like houses. You might find some of the of life's details in our town very foreign. The water carrier behind the glass shop reminds us that water is drawn by hand, of course. The well was dug by hand, too. A deep well provided cold water and served as a cool place to store eggs and butter in the summer. Behind a hatter shop is a woman cooking outside over an open fire. Possibly making apple butter or ketchup, flour, sugar, salt, or other staples are in the barrels seen on the wharf. Families buy them in large quantities for home use. The threshers behind the blacksmith shop show farm work being done laboriously by hand. Amusements are simple such as the suits youngsters are trying out across the river from the outdoor market. A word about indentured servants. Indentured servants came from all over Great Britain, men, women, and sometimes children, signed a contract with a master landowner to serve a term which could last up to seven years. In exchange for their service, indentured servants received their passage paid from England as well as food, clothing, and shelter once they arrived in the colonies. When the contract expired, the servants was paid freedom dues of corn, tools and clothing and was allowed to leave the master's plantation during the time of his indenture however the servant was considered his master's personal property and his contract could be inherited or sold to someone else some of the male indenture servants were highly skilled laborers with such jobs as bricklayer cook clerk gardener butcher blaster blacksmith and musician female indenture servants perform domestic chores include sewing laundry and housekeeping So, that was Made for Trade, A Game of Early American Life uh, by Aristoplay Games. So, everybody have a great day. Uh, remember, uh, God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Jesus loves you. Keep on gaming. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. And, uh, Back in these days when it was early American life, it was capitalism at its finest and libertarianism, too, at its finest because there wasn't that much money and everybody made their own stuff and traded their own stuff and there wasn't really much government interference with the basics of everyday do-to-do things. Now, there's still a little bit of government and there's still a little bit of taxes, but it's pretty hard to tax if there's not much money. Uh, and everybody's just trading, I'll trade you my blah, blah, blah for your blah, blah, blah. Or I'll trade you some work for some food or whatever you make. Basically, <laughs> as a simpler time, but also a harder time at the same time. So, what, um, comment down below if you would like to live in that time or if there's another time in history you would like to live in. Uh, comment down below. Everybody have a great day and, uh, later, guys and girls. And, um, this is one of those historical games. So, it looks like it would be pretty neat and fun. I haven't had a chance to play it yet. And as you could tell, it was not even opened yet. Not even played yet. And um, I bought it at the thrift store. And it's like the way it is. And it's another one of those games you buy and at the thrift store or yard sale or whatever. And... You get it cheaper than you would have bought it brand new, and it's just like if you had bought it brand new. So, uh, that's pretty cool. Anyways, everybody have a great day. I hope y'all enjoy these videos that I've been doing, and uh, keep on gaming, keep on collecting, keep on liking, keep on commenting, keep on subscribing and definitely keep on sharing my uh 
my videos. Uh, and everybody, have a great day. And God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Jesus loves you.